Have you recently purchased a brand new Honda HRN that looks like this? Is it having problems idling and running or surging like this? Well, if you answered yes to both those questions, you played yourself. I'm sorry, actually, I played myself, sorry. Can we do that again? Anyways, what I meant to say is you're in the right spot. Full disclosure, I know. You use premium gas, you use fuel stabilizer. Hell, you might even use premix gas, which doesn't have any ethanol in it. Anyways, some way or another, you got here. So basically what's going on is the pilot jet on top of the carburetor is clogged. Uh, this is also known as the slow speed jet or the right side of the carburetor is clogged. Basically what's going on is once the auto choke valve is fully open, the engine's getting way too much air and not enough fuel, causing the governor to just go up and down and surge all over the place. It has no idea what's going on. It's just throwing a fit. First step, let the engine cool down, make sure it's cool and it's not hot to the touch. Second thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the spark plug out because the last thing we want is this thing accidentally firing off on us. Third step, go ahead and shut off that fuel, go into the carburetor. Then we're gonna remove the air filter. Also we're gonna remove two 10 millimeter bolts, air filter housing plate. Next thing we need to do is make sure that the auto choke actuator is functioning on its own or functioning properly. We want to rule this out to make sure we can move on to the next step. There's two ways to check this. Step one, start the engine, and let it warm up for about five minutes. After about five or 10 minutes, go ahead and shut the engine off. Take the air filter cover off and look behind the air filter and make sure that the butterfly valve is open. Step two, after you let the engine cool down, go ahead and pull the air filter cover back off and the air filter and make sure that same valve is now fully closed. Now, keep in mind this could happen very quickly or very slowly, it just depends on the outside temperature. Now that we confirmed that the auto choke actuator is working properly, now we can clean and focus on the pilot jet. Now I'm gonna give you a couple options. You could either clean this with the carburetor on the engine or if you're comfortable, you could take it off. For this video, I'm gonna take it off so you guys can get a better idea of what's going on and what's what we're cleaning. Okay, so we're looking at the carburetor just like we we're looking at it on the engine. If you need a reference, the fuel inlet valve is always gonna be mounted on the right. All right, we're gonna make this real simple and real quick. First step, locate your pilot jet, which is on top of the carburetor. Go ahead and use that Phillips head screwdriver. Take that out. Next, grab your carb cleaner, spray down in there then spray down in this hole right here. And you wanna make sure when you flip her over on the back side of the carburetor that there's carburetor fluid dripping or coming out of here. All right, one more time if you're hard of hearing. First, remove the pilot jet screw, spray down here, spray there. Lastly, flip it over on the back and make sure that there's carburetor cleaner coming out the back here. So if you get this thing put back together and she's still not running right, you're almost there, just need to do a little bit more cleaning. Always first off, try carb cleaner. If that doesn't free it up, you got two more options. Grab a set of carburetor cleaner brushes. These are a great little tool to have on hand. Now, if you don't have these on hand, you could use a sewing needle or just something really thin to penetrate the jet. And last option, you could always try using compressed air. Now, Honda only recommends up to 30 PSI. Obviously, we're not trying to destroy this thing, so you can gently use compressed air to try to free up the jets. All right, once you think you got her all cleaned up, it's time to put her back together. Hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching.